Good morning everybody and welcome back to Provement. Now I must say I'm incredibly grateful that you've chosen to click on this video today. It's an important video because right now as you can probably tell I'm jumping on the microphone. I think it's about time that I've done so because it allows me to portray my points in such a better way than the AI voiceover could ever do and you also get a bit more of an authentic touch from a human being. The AI voiceover doesn't have that human authentic touch, it sounds a little bit robotic and it can only take the channel so far and plus I can jump on the microphone and make the points that I want to make so much more seamless and make it so much better. It comes at a great time today as well because I'm deciding to do a video on the power of your voice and this is a great way to start by me hopping on the microphone instead of the AI. So that being said, let's actually get into the video first of all. We're going to talk about the power of your voice. Now, the way you portray your words and the way in which you say them ultimately depends on how the person you're speaking to takes what you're trying to say. Now, for example, let's say you came up to me and you said, I really want to improve. I'm deciding to make changes in my life. That comes across pretty good because of the way I'm saying it. The emphasis on I want to improve makes a point so much more valid. But let's do it the other way. Let's say you came up to me and says, I want to improve. I want to change my life. That doesn't come across nowhere near as good as the first one does because of the way in which it's said. So the words are the same, but the difference is the way in which the words are said. So how do you make your words come across better? How do you make them more convincing? Let's talk about that just now. The way in which you make your words more convincing is by adding small delays onto the words you're speaking about. Leave little gaps between the words you're speaking about as well and also make them stretch out. So as I'm saying stretch out, I'm stretching out that word. That's the way you make the words latch on to the subconscious mind of the person you're speaking to to get that message to come across a little bit more stronger than just saying them really, really quickly and speaking really, really fast. It doesn't work that way. You have to stretch your words out. You need to make them emphasized, small points, small pauses, and stretch out them words. That is how you convey a good message. So just to recap, stretch out them words, add in small pauses, and make the words seem more valuable by the way in which you say them. All of them three things are important to convey in them words in a better way than normal. That's obviously three things you can do to make your words better, more seamless, all of these things. But there's other things as well that are really important and this is your tonality. So the way in which you portray your voice, it can go in a high tonality if you're really excited, having a good time and it's really funny. Or it can go in a low tonality when I'm really annoyed and I want you to take my point seriously. These things come across subconsciously, you don't even think about them. You just change your tonality depending on the emotions you're feeling. But somebody who's very, very good with their words can adjust their tonality without feeling in a certain way to be able to get somebody to convey it as if they were feeling a certain way. So for example, I can get really, really angry with you right now so you really understand my point and that in itself is not me actually angry, that's me portraying it to you as if I'm angry. So the way in which you adjust your tonality is very important to how somebody conveys your message as well. So we've covered a few quick aspects here regarding the tonality, how you spread out them words and all that good stuff as well. But you're probably asking, what's good ways to practice how you portray your words right now? What can I do improvement to improve my words and get better at speaking right now? And this is what I think you should do. Number one, read books. The reason you need to read books is they're so important for your own personal development. I cannot stress that enough. This is the bottom line, right? When it comes to reading books, there's multiple things that come into play that improves you. Number one, reading the books themselves, they obviously have knowledge in them, so you enhance your knowledge via the words that you pick up and the way that they resonate with you when you read them. That's one way in which they improve you. Second way, you improve your vocabulary by coming across words that you've never came across before. So what this does is it enhances your vocabulary and makes you more smarter as well. Because once you understand them words, you can use them in your day-to-day -day in, uh, interactions as well. And third of all, I think it's really important for you to read a book. Take a section in that book and cut it up into certain bits and read it back to yourself. What to do? For example, let's say, the paragraph says, my cat has a big red hat and it lives in a greenhouse. 
The way in which you read that, normally if you're just reading the book, is my cat has a big red hat and it lives in a greenhouse, right? So that's how you would read it. But read it back to yourself out loud and go, my cat has a big red hat and it lives in a greenhouse, right? That's a different way of saying them words. Again, practice it. Let's try it in a lower tone. My cat has a big red hat and it lives in a greenhouse. So saying things is a good way to practice and the way in which you say things is ultimately how you're going to improve them so if I wanted to get better at speaking really aggressively I can do that as well but if I wanted to get uh, better at speaking in a lower, lower sort of pitch I could do that as well so I would recommend again just to rehash reading books for the sake of the knowledge inside them Two, reading them for the sake of getting the vocabulary out of them as well. And three, also reading them back to yourself because it's good ways to practice how you say certain things. So that's obviously something that I recommend, but I also recommend, and I cannot stress this enough as well, you get involved with public speaking classes near you. These places do exist and they're normally quite good environments. Um, so for example, I used to go to one before and what they would do is they would time how fast you spoke. They would also check how often you said filler words like M, M, and A. Uh, all of these things hinder your speech and if you can remove them, then brilliant. You'll still notice I do them from time to time, a lot of people do, but the less you do them, the better. Um, so I would really recommend that you get involved with public speaking classes as well. You'll find that there's some probably around you. Um, so that's two things that they do. I would highly recommend getting involved with that. Also, just to add as well, the public speaking class, they are really, really good. They used to actually, if I can recall, they used to actually have a lot of people sit down in front of them and what they would do is they would go, right, here to tell us a story of the missing fridge is James Wilson. And let's say your name was James Wilson. You would have to stand up and walk to the front and then say the story of the missing fridge. And by the time you got out of your seat to the time you hit the stage, you had to have to come up with an answer like that of what to come up with, what to talk about. So it puts you on the spot. So it's really, really good for practicing speaking on demand. That's a skill that I like to call speaking on demand. Um, so I would highly recommend getting involved with a public speaking class near you. They will exist. Find one. If you need to pay a small fee, get involved with it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're going to grow as a person from going to this public speaking class and it will throw your communication skills up through the roof. So get involved with one of them if you have one in your area. So that's two or three things you can practice. Like I say, so let's go over that again. One, practice stretching out them words. Two, making sure that you read books. Three, adding tonality. Four, getting involved in a public speaking class near you. And five, practice public speaking or even just speaking in general whenever you can. Always be conscious of the words you're speaking about. Every time you're speaking to somebody, think about the things you maybe said incorrectly, think about the way in which you betrayed them words incorrectly, and just be conscious of it. Be aware of the words you're speaking. Be aware of the tonality in which you're speaking about as well. Because the more you're aware of these certain things, the better you're gonna get at noticing when you're about to make a mistake in the future. And if you can point out when you're about to make that mistake, you can avoid it happening. And the more you do that, the less likely you are to make mistakes from a speaking perspective as well. So awareness to your speaking is very important too. The more you can be aware, the better you'll get. With that being said though, I think it's very, very, very important that you take this very seriously. I want to make this crystal clear. I have used speaking to make myself a lot of money over the course of the last six years. I've been in sales, I've communicated with thousands of people across my duration in sales, and it's made me a lot of money by the way in which I convey certain things, the way I make people excited, the way in which I get you know, a bit more annoyed. All of these things have made me money, and they can make you money as well. Not even just that, a good speaker will take themselves to new heights, they'll be able to get better girlfriends, be able to convince people to do certain things, they'll be able to make their own life better as a result as well. So there's multiple things that being good at speaking will do for you. It's very important to practice speaking. 
If you're better than 90% of the population that's speaking, you deserve more than the 90% get from their lives as well. So get involved in the speaking and listen, I really, really appreciate you guys jumping into this video. I appreciate it's a bit long winded. I appreciate that I'm new onto the microphone. I'll get better at making my voice sound better. I'll get better at um, editing as well to make it better. So stick around, glad to have you guys here. And I want to say as well, really, really big thank you for all the support you guys have shown on the videos. I've put a lot of work into this behind the scenes, making the videos has cost me a lot of money as well and I think you know we're moving in the right direction now where we've got a good community on the Discord, we've got a good community on the YouTube as well, I get a lot of people coming back to me and saying this video was really good, I get a lot of interactions on the polls and I must say I'm really really grateful for all the effort you guys are putting into watching the videos every time that I upload them so thanks so much for that, we've got some great things coming and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one, take care till then.